a warrior man. Known also for his courage, unwavering faith, and, of course, for facing the legendary dragon. A true epic of battles against evil, making him a universal symbol of protection. I believe you already know who I'm talking about. If you thought of St. George, you're correct. Today, we're going to discover nine curious facts about him. Nine, origins and education. St. George was born around the year 270 in the region of Cappadocia, which is part of present-day Turkey. He belonged to a distinguished Christian family, with a father who served as a military man and a wealthy mother. These privileged origins provided St. George with a stable family environment and resources that would shape his life. After the death of his father, St. George moved to Palestine, a region of historical significance for Christianity. There, under the care of his mother, St. George received a careful and comprehensive education. The cultural and religious environment of Palestine certainly influenced his upbringing, giving him a deep understanding of Christian principles and a closer connection to the traditions of faith. 8. Military Career Inspired by his father's footsteps, St. George entered the military career, following a family tradition that involved him in the armed services. His dedication and skills quickly stood out, allowing him to rise through the military hierarchy. Before even reaching the age of 30, St. George had already attained the rank of captain in the Roman army, a remarkable achievement that showcased his exceptional competence and leadership. St. George's notability in the military ranks was not limited to his promotion to captain, he also received the prestigious title of Count of Cappadocia. This recognition not only honored his tactical and strategic abilities but also indicated the trust that authorities placed in him to lead and protect the region of his birth. 7. Conversion and Conflict with the Emperor St. George underwent a significant transformation when confronted with the brutality inflicted upon Christians, awakening his sensitivity to the persecutions faced by the Christian community. Faced with this scenario, he made a remarkable decision to distribute his inheritance to the needy after the death of his mother. However, this period of understanding and dedication to Christian principles coincided with a challenging time for followers of the faith. Emperor Diocletian, aiming to eliminate Christianity and consolidate paganism, issued laws specifically targeting Christian soldiers. These laws were part of a series of persecutory measures known as the Diocletian Persecution, which took place in the early 4th century. St. George, now converted to Christianity and aligned with the values of his faith, found himself in direct conflict with the emperor's orders. His refusal to renounce his faith and adhere to imperial mandates led to an inevitable confrontation between his religious devotion and the authority of the state. 6. Martyrdom and Resistance In response, the emperor ordered the torture of St. George in various ways, hoping to break his determination. However, in the face of each inflicted suffering, St. George resisted bravely. His resistance not only inspired other Christians who witnessed his martyrdom but also remarkably converted the sorcerer responsible for the torture and some soldiers to Christianity, a notable testimony to his spiritual influence. Even when subjected to poisoning and, even more impressively, immersed in molten lead, St. George, according to tradition, suffered no harm. These miraculous events, integral to the hagiography of St. George, emphasize his sanctity and divine protection, making him a symbol of resistance and spiritual strength. 5. Temple Episode and Conversions In the temple, St. George, in an act of courage and faith, openly defied the pagan deities, resulting in the destruction of statues representing these entities revered by the Romans. St. George's action in the temple had significant repercussions. The subsequent martyrdom of the Christian saint caused great commotion and debate among the Roman population. The impact of St. George's martyrdom was particularly evident in the conversion of a significant number of Romans to Christianity. The notoriety of his story, marked by acts of resistance, miracles, and the refusal to renounce faith, profoundly influenced the religious understanding of many at that time. For Death and Legacy The martyrdom of St. George culminated in his beheading on April 23, 303, in the city of Nicomedia. This final act of fidelity to his Christian faith solidified his position as a martyr and a symbol of resistance against religious persecution. St. George's death is traditionally remembered and celebrated on the 23rd of April each year. Following his death, the relics of St. George were taken back to his hometown, 
preserving his legacy and allowing his remains to be venerated by the faithful. The return of the relics to Cappadocia strengthened the saint's connection with his homeland and perpetuated his memory in the region. Emperor Constantine, the first Christian emperor, recognizing the importance and devotion associated with St. George, ordered the construction of a shrine in his honor. This imperial gesture underscores the growing acceptance of Christianity in the Roman Empire and the appreciation of influential Christian figures like St. George. St. George's legacy transcended his time, consolidating over the centuries. He became one of the greatest saints of the Catholic Church, revered for his courage, devotion, and resistance to persecution. Devotion to St. George grew throughout the Middle Ages, and his popularity extended beyond the religious realm. He was also adopted as a symbol of courage and justice in various cultures and traditions. St. George is often portrayed in various forms of art and literature, further solidifying his status as a cultural icon. His influence was not limited to the Catholic Church, St. George is venerated in various Christian traditions and is recognized as one of the most important saints in Christian history. His inspiring example and his role in conversions to Christianity contributed to establishing a lasting legacy that persists to this day. 3. Iconographic Representation St. George has commonly been depicted as a martyred warrior, emphasizing his military identity and his status as a Christian martyr. These representations highlighted the saint's courage and devotion, often portraying him in armor and with a sword, symbolizing his spiritual and physical battle. During the Crusades, which took place between the 11th and 13th centuries, St. George's image became associated with a legendary element, the combat with a dragon. This narrative, although lacking historical origins, became an integral part of St. George's hagiography. According to the legend, St. George rescued a city threatened by a dragon, symbolizing the victory of Christianity over the forces of evil. The representation of the dragon episode added a symbolic layer to St. George's iconography. He was not only a brave warrior but also a defender of the faith who faced and defeated demonic forces. This iconic image was frequently portrayed in paintings, sculptures, and stained glass windows over the centuries, contributing to the spread of the legend and devotion to St. George. The depiction of the saint with a dragon can also be interpreted as a broader metaphor for the struggle against evil and the triumph of the Christian faith over adversity. This iconography gained significant popularity and became a distinctive image associated with St. George, shaping the popular perception of the saint over time. 2. Example of Faith and Perseverance Like other warrior saints such as St. Expeditus and St. Sebastian, St. George is celebrated as a warrior of God, dedicated to fighting against the forces of evil. His life and deeds are seen as an example of perseverance and faith, inspiring Christians to remain steadfast in their devotion even in the face of adversity. St. George's contribution to the conversion of many during a period of hostility against Christians highlights the effectiveness of his testimony and life example. His story of faith, coupled with his willingness to sacrifice for what he believed in, had a profound impact on the community, leading many to convert to Christianity. 1. Canonization. Canonization took place in the year 494, and due to the absence of unquestionable facts attesting to the existence and deeds of St. George, Pope Gelasius I justified the process by declaring him among those whose names are revered by men with justice, but whose acts are known only to God. As we reflect on the life of St. George, we are immersed in a tale of unwavering courage, faith, and dedication. His journey, from privileged origins to the confrontation with Emperor Diocletian, reveals a man who not only defended his Christian principles but also inspired others to follow the same path. His martyrdom, marked by resistance and miracles, elevated him to the status of martyr and symbol of resistance against religious persecution. The iconic representation of St. George facing the dragon not only illustrates his struggle against the forces of evil but also symbolizes the victory of faith over adversity. His image transcends time and borders, inspiring generations over the centuries. Therefore, as we celebrate St. George, we not only recognize his holiness in the Christian tradition but also honor his legacy as an example of faith and perseverance for all of us. May his story continue to guide and inspire us in our own journey of facing challenges with courage and conviction. Thank you for joining me until the end of this video, and I'll see you on the next journey.